Did you watch Troll? You said you, you queued it up. I did least. watch like, Troll. Did yeah. You? <laughs> yeah. What, what did I you mean, think? I mean, I'd kind of been wanting to already, and I was like, oh, yeah, it should. It was fun. I, it th- Here's the thing. It's crazy cheesy. Yes. And it wears its influences, multiple influences, all over its sleeves. Yep. But here's the thing. I like cheese when it's done well. Mm-hmm. Mm, delicious cheese. You know, yeah. when it's got that slight burn on the top a little bit and it's just like a, <laughs> oh no this it it was a good popcorn movie yeah uh it's yeah. not as funny as troll hunter which i also really like <laughs> they're the bad yeah. troll movies troll right. and troll 2 they don't count those those i mean those are fun they're trash they're fun trash but troll hunter is 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 definitely it's a comedy it's an action comedy, so it's not taking it as seriously as Troll does. Troll Hunter's doing it like it's a mockumentary where there's like a camera crew following this guy who's a troll hunter. Oh, uh, and he okay. has like, um, and this is only from, it's from the 2000s, and he's got like a truck that's equipped with ultraviolet lights and stuff. Uh, and it's, it's, the effects are pretty good. Troll's effects are better. I mean, this one, this, it, it looks very good. It's yeah. Like, that's, That's what really caught my attention when I saw the clip of it. I was like, what is that? Like, yeah, I, I you thought pegged it, was... it as being very much like, well, this is uh, Norway's Godzilla and, yeah. um, and you know, Kong of Skull Island. It's very much that. Yeah. And I really liked, you know, those, the cast, the acting was great. Yeah. Um, it, there was a lot of really familiar tropes. I mean, obviously, I, I so saw it coming that the father character was going to die at some point. It was like, oh, he's dead. As soon as you I meet thought, him, like, th- he's a goner. When I say well done cheese, it's not like we really yeah. get to know these people at all. No but, no. but they sketched every one of their characters in well enough to where yeah. we know who they are. And we, mm-hmm. I will say they, they really leaned into likable. Like, you can't help but, like, nerd um, assistant to the prime minister who's writing the stupid sci-fi novel. You know, fan, you're like, that's great. Or horror novel. He's likable, and then he has the friendship with the the nerd who saves the day, Siggy, over you know, doing the Vulcan salute, and you're like, Mm -hmm. love her, she's great, and our main character, she's awesome, and everyone's well done, even like Captain Chris, the the military dude, you know, and his buddy, like his Muslim army buddy, they have like eight lines, and you're like. I like these people. I hope they yeah. win against the troll. And then yeah. they also make it. I mean, it's a little late in the day where she's like, no, don't hurt him. Go back to the mountain. And, and then he's like, oh, that's great. You're showing me sympathy too late. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. It was a little and uneven it, there with that, that kind that of that reminded sentiment me of the, I mean, the sentiment's kind of there because they describe, Oh, he's singing a song and it's really mournful. And, and then you find out the secret of the palace is on top of the, the mountain Kings, you know, which like, mm-hmm. wow, castle and all that's great. Uh, so it, he's a sad monster, mm-hmm. uh, but Kong's a sad monster. Uh, yeah. So you're supposed to feel a little bad when he goes down and, and it was, it was good. Yeah, I mean that that scene where with the helicopters and the church bells, which was so clearly a, a, a Skull Island thing. Oh yeah, right, which they they weren't even trying to pretend that they didn't get the idea no. from that movie. No, it's just like I didn't even get. So you got that. Uh, uh, what's his name? The actor from Rocketeer. Oh yeah, I thought he was going to be a bigger same last part. Name. I thought he was going to be a bigger part of it because literally he's in the first like five minutes. That's why like, I think I didn't remember it. Yeah, Billy Campbell. Yeah. 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 And, and love that guy. Loved him since Rocketeer. He was great in Bram Stoker's Dracula, which uh, on my mm, other oh, podcast yeah. we rewatched fairly recently. And yeah, Billy Campbell's always been great. And he's just now at that point where he's the old guy. And I'm like, oh, well, all right. But they named <laughs> his character Secord because, you know, the Rocketeer is Cliff Secord. I'm like, oh, yeah. come on. That was a good cast. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. But, but uh, it was, it was, that. it was fun. And, um, and was well done enough to where I'm like, I don't know if I need sequels, but that that director uh, should, I, I'm sure he's gotten attention now uh, from Hollywood because yeah. he's coming right out of Norway. And that's a very polished, well-directed. It also wasn't boring or, or slow. I was like, yeah, this is exactly as long as a troll movie needed to be. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it, it seems pointless to nitpick a film like this. Yeah, but, but there why, was there was why one. Why are you about to? They're there because you they're... know what? I'm taking my earphones out. You go ahead and do it. I'm just not going <laughs> to. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, when uh, there was this one scene where it was after the church bell thing, uh, the, 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 the that attempt they make that I don't know what exactly they were trying to do, like turn him around or or something or subdue him, but or or just hurt him uh, or yeah, maybe that yeah. would drive him out of a populated area because the sound of church right. bells does drive him nuts. But spoilers, people, if you haven't watched this, like almost the entire heli- helicopter uh, uh, fleet gets destroyed, just like in the Kong I movie. did like where he he, he does he he grabs the one and he's just given like that death stare yeah. to the and then he like goes Crah! he's like yeah. see what i did to that one it was yeah. all very good body language for troll is like going yeah it have been you Pop! yeah yeah it was, like, was that was well that was done good. but there was a scene later where the the, the chris character the the captain or whatever the captain military chris. guy yeah captain chris he goes it's a um where she says she's walking away to a meeting or something i'm gonna try to think of something else and he goes say so as long as it's not church bells, like, like you know that idea that got all my men killed. Yeah. Let's not do that again. It's like it's a weird thing to joke about in the moment. Like, didn't a bunch of your friends just die? <laughs> but anyway. yeah, but you know what? I believe in you, right. Nora. <laughs> right. But you're right. I did like all the actors, and it was uh, they didn't lean too hard into one thing or the other. Which is, if in other words, they didn't go. We're taking this deadly seriously. That would have been kind of a mistake. Uh, mm-hmm. Or and they also didn't go s- too light with it because yes, people die and it's pretty dramatic. And the whole thing of her going, "We're a strong nation. I need everybody to evacuate." I mean, it's like that's the way you do a Godzilla movie too. It's like there's a little bit where you can play around with just the concept of giant things walking around destroying. I always loving movies like this, which. This has a better excuse than Godzilla. The troll can camouflage. He can sh- he can just sort of roll up and he looks like a natural formation. Well, having- because in Godzilla movies, they'll often do that. They'll find his footsteps. You know, they'll find the footprints. And you're like, how is Godzilla hiding? He is so big. You could see him from miles away. So I can't believe people like he can't yeah. suddenly come upon you. <laughs> like, <Right>. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> you would see him coming for easily forty-five minutes. <laughs> right. It's like, yeah. oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely a large lizard coming towards us. You know what? I'm going to leave. There, there was another thing too. I thought was funny that just it was a little bit of the old like X Files Scully syndrome, where, where even mm-hmm. after they saw the creature, they're like, you can't possibly be serious about this theory. Like that you just was saw it. That was ridiculous. <laughs> One thing in the script that was like, she is doing her best to dance around she knows because she's her father's daughter but she's like dancing around i'm not gonna even say the word troll i'm like just do it it's the only touchstone these people will have for what that thing is you can't go a giant unknown bipedal humanoid figure it's like no it's just a fucking troll all right and then when they like okay maybe it's a troll how do we stop it I don't know. Maybe the fairy tales told us some stuff about what they don't like. <laughs> maybe right. just follow the rules as established yeah. because they start making jokes like, do we get crosses? No, that's a vampire. And you're like, stupid. Don't be <laughs> stupid. Why are you so stupid, movie? <laughs> yeah. But again, it's stupid in a fun way, and I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Chad, cool. for forcing me to watch Troll. <laughs> you're like, oh, I appreciate you watching. For the audience at short home, notice. I'm, that's not a joke. Chad literally got on a uh, messenger last night and said, you motherfucker. We, he's like, you want your little podcast to keep going? Then you're going to watch this Norwegian giant monster movie. And I was like, but I don't, you're going to do it tonight. No. Yeah. Uh, I actually, I was looking for something different to watch. <laughs> yeah. You yourself also are, are uh, don't you also turn to stone and direct sunlight? Chad? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. 